man, I feel just like a rock star. Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 PS2 Career Mode Season 4 Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, about to do race 2836. Uh, nine races left of the season. Going to Dover National Speedway in Dover, Delaware for the right of the Dover 400. Uh, last race was at uh, New Hampshire, and I finished fourth. It was not too bad. Uh, the top four in points finished in the top four in the race. Unfortunately, I was the last of them. Uh, Dale Jarrett won, of course, uh, which extended his points lead, which is not what I needed. Um, yeah, so do uh, New Hampshire was all right. Finished fourth. Uh, I kept up. I kept up with them. It was good, no problem. Uh, last time I was here at Dover, though, I didn't qualify well, but I managed to get all the way up to the front and win the race. So hopefully I have that same scenario again. Well, hopefully I qualified better, but hopefully I have the same scenario where I win this race and it would help me out more in the points as well. But we would just have to see. Uh, but with nine races left to go, this is how the point settings look like. Uh, Dale Jr. holds it by 46 points over Tony Stewart. And I am 65 points back as of right now. And Dale Knight Jr., he's dropped to 118 points back. So, if, I mean, he's still around, I would say. But uh, he needs a little more work. So it seems like top three is where it's at right now in the championship for sure. Uh, let's go right in the race weekend. Uh, we're going to do... Um, um, so, oh, yeah, building chassis number 11 for two more races and overhauling chassis number 10 for one more race. Uh, we're definitely going to use uh, chassis number 9. Uh, engine, uh, building engine number 13 for six more races and overhauling engine number 11 for one more race. I'm going to do the 100% uh, the condition for uh, the engine, so engine number 8. And then for bodies, uh, building body number 12 for four more races and overhauling body number 9 for one more race. Definitely going to use uh, body number 11. So it's a car rating of 73. So I remember my highest car rating is 76, but I'm down to 73. But uh, I'm trying to save the good stuff because the overhauling stuff will be done after this race, which will be good for Talladega, which is the next race. So anyways, uh, let me get on the qualifying. Here at Dover and see where I'll start. Interest three and four right now. 22-29 on the first lap, 25th. I'm not sure. Yeah. We've got a lot of uh, it was a little bit faster, but still 25th. Gosh. The car felt tight in the corners, so I'm really a little concerned about that, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it can be faster than that in the race. Like I said, I qualified terrible here last time, but uh, I still won the race, so maybe that can happen again. Uh... Yeah, let's get right on into the race. We're live at Dover International Speedway for the Dover 400, brought to you by MRN. So what can we expect in this one, Barney? Well, the name Monster Mile does say it all. It takes total concentration each and every lap. You'll see guys tagging the wall out of turn two and four all race long, and let me tell you, they'll feel it tomorrow morning. The 82 car will try to use this race to close in on the points lead. Being in the top five is a huge boost in self-confidence. I know everyone on that team is very happy with their performance this season, and rightfully so. The two car hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. Jack Sprague has had some bad luck the last two races. I believe they got a good chance to turn their luck around right here. These guys have been working extra hard this week, and I think it just may pay off for them in the end. Number 25, up 
starting off coming before the completion. Of the lap. I've already gained a couple of spots. What a reason ahead. this race is a nightmare. It's never a night race at Dover for a reason. I don't know what EA Sports was thinking when they were going to get that. Oh, yeah. Uh, right past, buddy. For the season mode and career mode, um, this is a night race. So. I don't know Should why, but it's whatever. I think it looks more than this. All right, it seems like I got Stop a fast by. car more tires to won't help uh, us. get up to the field. I don't make any mistakes, yeah. I mean, I'm passing cars. Keep oh, wow! Robbie Gordon hit the outside wall for an option to and he collected uh, Kevin Harvin. Number 151. So three laps, I the eight spots. In this car, I'm flying. This guys. is between you and the leaders, two and a half seconds. Good. Oh, oh my God, I just broke it down. Way too hard for me to turn around. That's my bad mark, The sixth car is still there. All me on now, it was Mark Martin that I was battling for the lead in the last few laps here at Dover when I won this race. It looks like I'm only battling for the 16th spot and I'm about to get in the top 15, so I moved up 10 spots in the last few laps here in the lap. I got a fast car, guys. Looks like this could be a good car. as tight as it was in qualifying. When I was qualifying this car, it was tight. We're on both sides. It's probably the reason why I qualified back in 2020. Got one eye. It seems to be better. Number 32. I don't know there. if I was overdriving. You put it out of mind. Pretty, pretty, pretty much. Okay, we're well, there. What? Yeah. But it seems like it's fine now. Yeah, I got a good car, guys. Number one is looking high. You're clear. Just got Leaders speed front, all the way around the racetrack. Kind of messed up. It's okay. Yeah, I got speed all the way around the racetrack. It's good. Just what I want. Holy crap, the tight race in there. I tried to get by Jeff Hurts to get in the top 10, guys. And I am okay, officially in the top 10, just going around Jeff Hurts. No, Jeff Hurts. No, I still have to buy a plane. Oh, man! Bobby Vine got a little bit loose on the corner. Bobby was there. Let's cut that lead. Dale Jarrett's only in seventh. That's good. Let's keep Dale Jarrett far back. Um, I think. J oh, there was contact up ahead. I think that was between Tony Stewart and Jimmy Johnson. I'm not sure with Jeff Moore as well. Jeff Moore started on. Oh, he shot that right there. As I'm getting around points leader Dale Jarrett now, which is good. I wonder if Dale Jarrett uh, gains gains some points on him. Because these next couple races, I feel like I'm going to do well. Like this race, Talladega, I feel like I'm going to there. Kansas, it's, I'm not sure yet. But then you got Charlotte coming up. I want to gain as three many points five, as possible. Three point five seconds behind the leader. Go easy on those Eagles, driver. Still there. Dale Knight Jr. Oh, Still there. Careful. Big. That's one more name. He's got a big fuel is at half. We're on both sides. Looks like Michael Walker just got around to the street in the third spot. Your left front tire's a little worn. Now hopefully I have a good pit stop in this race. Alright. Trying to be in the top five. Getting around to the street right now. Still there. Dale Jr. came into three three race hundred. Oh wow, I'm so, oh All wow, right. I slid going to the turn one pretty well. I got right in Jeff Gordon. Dale Jr. came into this race uh, fourth in points, 118 points back. So with him leading laps, he's going to gain a little bit as well. Oh man, I'm squeezed underneath my ball to the third spot. I'm going to take the third spot away. That's actually still there. Keep digging. Run it third, buddy. 
Because, oh wow, car did not want to turn there. What the hell, car? What was that? Okay, well, that leaves me a bit sorry a little bit. Oh, wait, is that Dale Knight Jr. blown up? Dale Knight Jr. just blew an engine. The race leader, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, Jeff Gordon? Jesus Christ, how much you got a break there? Just gain on Jeff Gordon so much going into turn one. He breaks so much. Possibly make contact with them. But Dale Earnhardt Jr., a big story in the championship. Has blown an engine as I'm pitting right now to get four fresh tires and a full tank of fuel. Jr., who's led every lap in this race. Halfway to the checkered flag. He let every lap in this race was maybe going to get some good amount of points today. All of a sudden, he has blown an engine, and I believe, guys, that might take him out of the championship hunt. And then there goes my race right there with my Jackman tripping over on the shoelaces. Damn it. That was a 17 and a half second pit stop. Okay, so there might be a chance for me to still win this race, but. I'm gonna, what am I doing? Get, God, Lee, car, what the fuck is my car doing? Well, damn, man. I don't know what my car's been doing in the last few laps. Ever since it was time for pit stops, my gosh, this car's been all right. All right, so, we'll wait to, uh, the pit stops are done. Still pit stops going on. Looks like I'm gonna cycle. But I might be in seven after all this is done. We'll see. Wow, the race leader is all the way up there. I don't even know. As long as it's not Dale Jarrett. No one inside. Actually, I'll find out who it is. No, it's still in my yeah, it's still in my right now. All right, well, I no, fell back to six. I was, what, in second? Well, to be fair, I was running third when Dale and our junior blew the engine. But I got up to second when right he did. But I dropped back right since you. then. And, God, Lee, that... Wow! All right, well, so much for the fifth spot okay, there, but I'm going to try to take it back. Just, man, crossover moves between me and Johnny Benson for the fifth spot. There's four and a half seconds between you and the lead. 15 laps to go. You're clear. Man, I cannot believe what what has just happened in the last several laps of this race. Dale Knight Jr., who started on the pole, was leading every lap. He looked to be... 
to have the winning car. Him leading the most laps, get those valuable points he needed because he came into this race fourth in points, 118 points back, while Tony Stewart was running back just in the top five, and Dale, and Dale Jarrett was just only running, I would say, in the top ten. Junior looked like he was going to get back in the championship hunt, but then all of a sudden, it seemed like he had a, he had a very fast car, but I guess it was not He's enough for that engine to last. And Dale Knight Jr. blows an engine just when green flag pit stops were happening. That is unbelievable. That, that, that's amazing. What just happened in this race? The 15 car is still there. So while that has happened, number 15 the is still there. One the 15 the car is battle all is me, Tony Stewart, all and Jared. Because I guarantee you, Dale Knight Jr. blowing that engine. That just took him. That just took him out of the championship race. I don't think Dale Jr. is going to recover from that. We'll see. I mean, it can happen. But uh, long, long shot. 3.5 seconds behind the leader. The right front's wearing down. Keep an eye on it. Ten laps to go here at Dover National Speedway. I am running in the fourth spot. Just Still ten laps leader. left. Tony Stewart's in second. I don't know where Dale Jarrett is at. Guys, I, I, uh, if my Jackman didn't trip on his damn shoelaces on the pit stop, I probably maybe would have been right there with Sterling Marlin and have a shot to win this race, but I don't think I'm going to have a shot to win this race now. This is between you and the leaders. Not Two after and a half seconds. Uh, bad news, Tony Stewart is gaining on Sterling Marlin. Uh, that might not be good. <laughs> I mean, not even terrible, but... Eight laps to go. I'm right here with Jimmy Johnson, trying to maybe get around him for the third spot right here. As I do. Wow, very tight I tell you what, the leaders are getting held up in lap traffic. If they keep getting held up in traffic, I might have a shot to come back and win this race. You haven't got much longer on that left front tire. Number 11, top five. About 1.5 off the lead. You're clear. I tell you what, Jeff Gordon has uh, stayed right there with me, too. He's on pressure tires with me. But I've been able to hold him off for now. Gosh, I am doing all I can to catch this in the top two. I want to have a shot to win this race. They're all around. Oh, damn! Oh my gosh, I got really tight off the second four. Five to go. I'm number one fifty-one. Back. I'm gaining on the top two. Please hold off, Jeff Gordon, by car. Damn it! Jeff Gordon's putting some pressure on me, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm right there, guys. Four to go. Easy oh, now. man, sorry. I'm gonna need some of that grip later. Guys, this is gonna get interesting right here. It's gonna get very interesting. As I'm underneath Tony Stewart for the outside. second spot. Oh man, Greg Biffle held up Sterling Marlin a little bit. Three laps to go. Here I come underneath Sterling Marlin for the race lead. Still there. Be patient. Greg Biffle's holding up Tony Stewart now, but side by side for the lead. Still beside you. Make it easy. The 40 car is going hot. Be careful. Oh no, I got tight. Hold on. Hold off Jeff Ward. Wow, what a pass. Two laps to go. I'm leading here at Dover. Can I sweep? the Dover races in season four of NASCAR Thunder 2004. Oh man. Here we go. Got one outside. White flag in the air. Final lap here at Dover National Speedway.
it, but oh, still yeah, hang on. You're the man. That race. was a very interesting race. My gosh, a lot happened in this race, to be honest with you. A lot happened. I started 25th in this race. Had a very fast car in the first half. Oh, I just blew the end. Damn it! I didn't mean to do that. Man, I must have pushed this engine too hard. I barely did any burnouts and the engine already blew. But I started 25th in this race, had a very fast car, got myself all the way up into the top three. Dale Knight Jr., he led, he started up pole, was leading every lap, was gonna get some very good points because he came in here 118 points back in the into this race. All of a sudden, he blows an engine. And then I had a slow piss up because my Jackman tripped on his shoelaces. And then um, I was just being all aggressive in the second half of the race, just trying to get as many spots as possible. Lap traffic started getting held up. And all of a sudden, I found myself racing for the lead. But man, it was not easy to get up to that lead either. I was pushing this car as hard as possible. And. Uh, I tell you what, some of the guys behind me, they were sticking with me too, so not only I was pushing hard to get up to the front, I had to push hard to hold the guys off the under. So it was a very interesting race. Going to victory lane, I believe for the 12th time this season. Right on, right on, and got a good amount of money, not too bad, almost a nine million dollars there. All right, what what a race, that, that race was, a lot happened, a lot happened in this race. Oh, the Richard Pay a legend, oh man, that's awesome. Talladega, guys, I feel like I can win that race too, oh man. I'm I'm really interested to see what the point saints are looking like. Really interested. I really want to know. But a lot happened in this race at Dover. Oh god, like several things happened, especially several things happened in like span of like 5 laps. All right, let's check out the point saints. Look at that. New points leader Tony Stewart leads it by 5 points over Dale Jarrett and guys I'm right there, 14 points back. I'm sitting 30 points, 13 points back. I got to keep an eye out on Tony Stewart and Dale Jarrett. And look at that for Dale Nart Jr. Like I said, looked like he was going to have a good day, was going to close in some on the uh, championship race. Oh, man. But blew an engine, 203 points back now. I believe most likely Dale Nart Jr. is out of the championship race now. So that's unfortunate. So it looks like it's going to be between Tony Stewart, Dale Jarrett, and me now. Oh, that was my 11th win this season. I'm sorry. Oh, look at that. 20 pulls, 20 wins. That was my 20th career win, too. So awesome. All right. Time to do some overhauling stuff because I got some good stuff for the next uh, couple races, which is good. But let's uh, overhaul. What would this bring me up to? 76, 74. So he's six, so either way. Okay, yeah, let me uh, overhaul chassis number eight for two races. I think I'm going to sell uh, chassis number nine since we got one race left on building chassis number 11. So I'm going to sell chassis number nine there. Uh, building engine number 13 for five more races. Uh, let's see, overhauling 73, 70, 76, 73. I'm going to do that. Um, so I want to, I want to sell engine number eight, but not right now. Wait, I'm going to wait till a little bit, maybe a couple more races until I do that. 
Wait till engine number 13 is getting close to being done. All right, let's see. 75, 73, 76, 73. So let's overhaul by number 11 for two races. Uh, three race 11 till by number 12 is being built. I want to sell by number 10, but not exactly yet either. And shop additions, uh, three race 11 till the boing plates come in. So next race, guys, it's going to be at Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama for the running of the EA Sports 500. I will see you at Talladega.